Hello, I'm James from regaldrapes.com and today I'll be explaining the design tool. To get the design tool, click on design your space. The first step in the design process is to design the room in which the drapes will be. For today's demonstration, the room is 180 inches wide, 108 inches tall, there is no crown molding and it can be removed by clicking the red X and the base molding is 4 inches tall. Now we can select the color of the room. The room is a grayish blue similar to number 11. The floors are maple and the ceiling and molding are the same neutral color similar to number 12. Now that we have entered our measurements and designed our room, we can put the windows in. So click on the Windows tab. It is located between the Room and Drapes tab right here. And in this room, there are two windows. However, to start, I'm only going to drag in one window. So once I put the dimensions in of the first window, the second window will automatically have the same dimensions in as the first. So this window is... 66 inches tall, 40 inches wide, 36 inches away from the left wall, and 24 inches above the floor. So notice when I drag the second window in, it has automatically been resized to the same size as the first window. So the only measurement that we have to worry about now is the distance between the two windows. In this case, it's 18 inches. So basically we have our window arra windows arranged and now we can alter the trim. So in this room the trim is white but you also have an option of wooden trim. And we can also change the scene that you can see outside of your windows. So this is done so you could truly capture the essence of your room and really understand what it'll look like when you have drapes in. So now that your room is finished you can start designing your drapes. So click on the drapes tab right at the top. And now we can select our drape style. So for, for the purpose of today's demonstration, I'm going to use the classic tab style. We can use uh, a fabric now. So I'm going to use the this fabric right here. And notice that you can click the magnification glass in the corner of the thumbnail to see a larger image of the fabric, like this. And so as I select the fabric, the design tool automatically sizes the drapes based on the measurements that you have provided. You have the option to, to change the size by unclicking the auto button and manually entering the measurements. However, the, uh, the sizes that are provided automatically are very accurate so there's really no need to. And for these drapes I'm going to add a puddle. I'm also going to add the black outlining. The black outlining provides total light blockage and protects from sunlight damage. I will also add a sheer. I'm going to go with a blue tint to match the color of the room. And the border would also look nice. So I'm going to add six inches on the top of a different color canvas. So this will look good, denim. And I'm also going to add a border on the bottom, four inches off the bottom of the same fabric. And there we have it, there are drapes. So this is our final product, and when we click the little I button next to the price, we are given a full explanation of where the price comes from and how it is decided. So now the next step is to purchase the drapes. So you can click on buy and you have to sign in now. So I'll sign in. And so now that we have designed our drapes, we can now see them in our cart and now you have two options. You could either check out, which you could do by clicking right here, 
or you could design more drapes by clicking on my designs and create a new design. Thank you for watching this video and I hope it improves your experience at regaldrapes.com.